Hey, what is up you guys and welcome to this episode of Eddie's Customs and Restorations. Well, first and foremost, I'm sorry for that little waviness on the lighting. Uh, I got an LED light overhead right now and that is what's causing that little, you know, fluctuation on the video. So basically Electrical 101, we sometimes tend to overlook the simplest of things. Uh, I had taken this apart, I had tested it. Uh, the customer complaint was that the car has an intermittent issue when it comes to the turn signals. This is a 69 Mustang. Uh, this will apply to a lot of other classic vehicles that have a similar uh, multifunction switch setup like I do on this column. So I'm going to give you all a couple of tips of where possible problem locations uh, if you're having issues with your turn signals. So one typical location will, will be that plug right there. So you have a uh, male end, which is uh, this one, that's your male end. And then you have your female end on this side. This side will have all the little holes where the male ends go into. These little holes, sometimes they, they open up over time and they do not make a good contact connection. So you might you can get away with closing those up a little bit, putting a little tension on them, making them a little more uh, narrow, and that'll help your connection. Also, putting a little bit of dielectric grease in there will also help to prevent future corrosion. Uh, this car has two flashers. You have your hazard light flashers on this side, on the driver's side, and then you have your turn signal flasher which is located on the passenger side so if you do not have any turn signals on whatsoever uh, to test this you can remove the uh, flasher it's very simple you just pull it off like that and all you got to do is put a jumper wire between these two uh, pins okay I'm just gonna reconnect this but yeah all you got to do is is put a jumper wire either through the top or just put a jumper wire from the front right here you just gotta you just gotta basically connect these two wires together and put a turn signal on so you would basically turn your your turn signal on right i had it on already but put your turn signal on and you should see that light illuminated at all times if you do not see a light then you have other problems okay because what you're what you're basically doing is you're bypassing the flasher so it's going to be feeding constant power at all times so it will light up the turn signal and it will stay on all the flasher does is basically it's got it's got like a little element on the inside it's like a little uh, resistor so whenever it gets too hot it it flinches and it and it releases and then your light turns off and then all of a sudden it touches again when it cools and then light turns on and so on and so forth it just continues repeating that over and over and over so that's potential problem number two so now moving on to my problem what my problem ended up being is a crack in this hazard light switch and it's internally damaged to where it's causing uh, intermittent failure to my turn signals so let me demonstrate I'm gonna turn the key on and then I'm gonna to try to replicate the problem okay got my turn signals on I'm gonna turn them on to this side okay see they're working right now see they just stopped working now I'm gonna let this go it wants to work there you go there you go it's coming back now I'm gonna push on this again now it's not working it wants to come back let me help it out here see that and then I stop helping it Let's see All right, now again, let's uh, help it out. See, so my problem is a hairline crack. I'm gonna turn the key off now. But 
there's a crack right there I don't know if you can see it on camera I don't know if you can appreciate it right there or not but there's a very small little crack right there on the whole body of the hazard portion of this turn signal switch okay this multifunction switch right here is unfortunately gonna have to be replaced because there's a crack right there and it's causing my turn signals not to work all the time. So now y'all know the three locations that can give you a headache when you don't have turn signals. Well, I hope this information was useful. If it was, please hit that like button. It helps me out and it lets YouTube know that this is good content. Until next time, y'all be good.